Hello children let us continue with the chapter give and take today we will be doing certain mental maths questions but first i will tell you a few tricks that you can apply to sums which require you to do addition so let us begin first trick is to find friends of 10 basically it is always easier when we make a 10 or when we find group of numbers which when added will form 10 so there are certain friends which when added together will give us 10 like 1 and 9 2 and 8 3 and 7 and 4 and 6 and 5 and 5 so whenever you have questions which involves adding of numbers like 1 and 9 or 4 or 6 5 and 5 your mind should quickly think and come to a result that it will be 10 the next trick is the 9 trick whenever you have to add 9 to a number so instead of adding 9 we can add 10 to the number and then remove one adding a 10 is always easier for our brain to do so for example if we have to add 9 plus 7 we can change it to 10 plus 7 which is 17 and then reduce one from the final answer so finally we will arrive at 16 this trick of 9 can be expanded can you think of an easier way to add 76 plus 99 yes instead of 99 we can add 100 and remove one or reduce one from the answer that we will get the next trick is known as doubles plus 1 it is used when we have to add to consecutive numbers that is the numbers which come one after the other like 6 and 7 or 8 and 9 for this we will have to learn the doubles of the digits like we have 1 plus 1 is 2 2 and 2 is 4 double of 3 is 6 double of 4 is 8 double of 5 is 10 6 and 6 is 12 7 plus 7 is 14 8 plus 8 is 16 9 plus 9 is 18 and of course 10 plus 10 is 20 when we have learnt the doubles of these digits adding some numbers will be very easy for us now the addition facts will be at your fingertips we just have to double the smaller number and add 1 to it let us take an example if we have to add 5 plus 6 we will just double the digit 5 which is 10 and add 1 to it so the answer will be 11 if we have to add 9 plus 8 we will just remember the double of 8 which is 16 and then add one more to it which will give us 17 coming to the next rule which is addition fact for bigger numbers once you have learned or known the previous rules you can easily extend it to bigger numbers for example the rule which was double plus 1 which which we just learned if you know that rule you can apply it to bigger numbers for example 7 plus 8 so applying the rule double plus 1 we will get double of 7 is 14 plus 1 the answer will be 15 now you will be able to solve bigger numbers like 70 plus 80 we will easily find it out it will be 150 in the same way 700 plus 800 will be 1500 now if we have 27 plus 8 we know 7 plus 8 rule of double plus 1 we will apply we will get 
we can add it to 20 we will get the answer 35. So now we will be applying the simple tricks to solve these mental math sums. First one is already done for you. We will move on to the second one. We have 90 plus 60 here. So we will apply the trick of 9 here. Instead of adding 9 to 6, we will add 10 to 6 which will make it a 16 and then we will reduce 1. So we will get 15. The answer will be 150 that is 150. Next we have 25 plus 30 plus 3. So we will add 25 and 30 together. We will get 55 and then we will add a 3 to it to get 58. In the next sum we have 9 plus 40 plus 31. So here we have friends of 10 that is 9 and 1. When we will add them together we will get 10. Now the sum will be very easy. We have to just add 40 plus 30 plus 10 and the answer will be 80. Next we have 500 plus 200. It is a very easy question. The answer is 700. Then we have 400 plus 350. Here to get the answer we will use the trick which was double plus 1. As we have 3 consecutive numbers here, 4 and 3, so we will double 3 which will be 6, then add a 1 to it, we will get 7, so the answer will be 750. You will do the other sums yourself by applying one or more tricks. They will be very easy if you will apply the tricks carefully. Now let us do one more mental maths. Question. One day Bubbly and Gopu were playing. Bubbly gave three number cards to Gopu. He arranged the cards in two ways. He used the operation minus for it. 150 minus 120 is equal to 30. And it can be also arranged like 150 minus 30 is equal to 120. Well, Bubbly arranged them in a different way. She used addition for arranging them. 120 plus 30 is equal to 150 or 30 plus 120 is equal to 150. You can also play it. Here are the cards for you. Work out the combination. Place the cards in the right boxes. So in the first question we have 50, 70 and 20. To make a 70, we will have to put the smaller cards together to make the larger card. So first we will keep 50 plus 20 which will be equal to 70 or we can arrange it as 20 plus 50 is equal to 70. When we have to use a minus sign, if we keep the largest card first, and then subtract the other card, we will get the remaining card. So 70 minus 50 is equal to 20 or 70 minus 20 is equal to 50. You will do the next question yourself by applying the same trick. I hope today's mental maths tricks are clear to you and you will enjoy solving the questions. Happy learning.